Hi, it's Howdy Huey time. We're gonna make some stuff and show you how we do it. Alright, Howdy's kind of been on vacation or just uh, maybe plain lazy. And haven't really put a video on in quite a while. What I'm thinking about doing here is uh, I realize that I'm a Pert Seneca Indian. I wish I was a hundred percent. Those people had their stuff together. Didn't uh, hurt the earth at all. So I looked up some Seneca uh, symbols, and the turtle is a big one. And it uh, supposedly represents Mother Earth or good health and long life. So this is my version of uh, a Seneca turtle. I'm probably one fiftieth <laughs> Seneca Indian, but hey, it's there, and I'm proud of it. Uh, Indians uh, really got the raw end of the deal especially this world today you think about at least I think about what is so important to people and it is not the earth which takes care of us it's uh, how much can you make and who can get the most toys and uh the older I get, the more I feel like <laughs> it's not not the real purpose. So here I am just playing. Uh, I put a center line down this piece of aluminum, which I got from my friend Maggie. She's a few months older than me and runs her own sign shop. Pretty amazing woman. So I asked her from, for some scraps. I installed a uh, AC unit for her because it's so stinking hot down here in Florida right now. So anyway, I got these scraps. This is aluminum with a plastic core. Uh, not very big. So I put a center line down it and did a kind of a sketch on a piece of paper to give myself some kind of direction. I'm using one shot paint uh, with the Kafka. No, this is the nylon. I did the circle with the Kafka because that's great for long, thin lines. This is a shorter bristle nylon brush. So I did this whole thing with those two brushes. And I'm a little rusty. Uh, lines aren't the cleanest. But uh, I just like to have fun. If this was a job somebody wanted it, I would have taken more time and tried to get the cleanest lines I could. But I did this in kind of a hurry. This is uh, process blue on white. And then I went in with a robin egg after I got all the design work on it. So, yeah, I think the Native Americans had the right idea. I'm just, so many things that go on in the world today make me not so happy. We're really trying to screw up the earth. And our politicians don't help. They want to see who can. How can you spend millions on it to get a job that pays a few hundred thousand? <laughs> That's a, there's something going on there, huh? But anyway, uh, they can have all their money if they want. Because uh, it's not going to buy them happiness. And painting seems to make me happy, so I'm poor and happy. <laughs> I get a little work here and there, but I'm not looking for a lot anyway. So I want to do uh, 
more of these Native American symbols. I did some designs for vector art and what I think subconsciously I uh, did some Native American designs without thinking about it or realizing it or it just uh, just came out that way. Okay, here we go with the Robin Egg Blue. With uh, he's a little bit of a goofy looking turtle, but hey, I like him. The ones that they have on different websites are very graphic, very simple graphic. So maybe I'll do another one. Uh, I guess I was just filling in, sh making shapes, and filling in shapes, and just. Uh, having fun because painting should be fun I'm so fortunate at this point in my life I I'm not worried about uh, making the mortgage payment and <laughs> groceries and although my social security isn't much but I've tried to gear my life to not needing much and I'm gonna have to put one of these on the camper too I've even thought about getting a tattoo now 66 and <laughs> I have no tattoos and had no desire to get one but if I can come up with the right design and I like the idea of the turtle and people used to call me spider so I guess because I have long thin limbs and spider is a Native American symbol for creativity I guess because they had weave these elaborate uh, webs you know or not they still do and I find the uh, spider quite intriguing. My dog pulled one out from underneath my bed. It was dead. The thing was huge. Uh, and so I looked it up, and it was a wolf spider. So if you're going to have a spider in your house, you want the wolf spider because they eat other spiders. And, uh, well, boy, they're big. It was probably two inch maybe three from tip of the legs to the tip of the legs and the body was a good I don't know three quarter inch wide and inch or more long uh, it's the only one I've seen so I guess they're in the house and I don't see a whole lot of other spiders in the house here we are getting close up as you can see the lines aren't perfect but uh, I was just having fun like I say so if you see a wolf spider in your house don't kill it <laughs> a lot of people don't like spiders but uh, I guess I do down in Florida here we got to worry about the recluse spider so there you have it Thanks for watching. It's Howdy Huey. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Take care.